Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. I am going to <clears throat> go through and show you what to expect with the new update slash DLC for Warzone. Today is April 29th. And this is what came out today. I just got it. Uh, I'm on Xbox. It was 12.98, basically 13 gigabytes. Um, my speed, my internet speed is about 900 megabytes per second, but it still took about an hour because, uh, not that my internet speed is a roller coaster, but just because some things are just harder to download in this update than others. Once it got to about, it got, it got to one gigabyte pretty quickly. And then from one to four, it really slowed down. And then once it hit four gigabytes, um, it really started downloading really fast. But it still took about an hour. Um, you have, no matter what settings you have uh, on your Xbox, you do have to turn your Xbox on to initiate the download. Then once it starts downloading, you can turn it off then if you want. Playing games is going to slow it down, of course. But um, you do have to turn your Xbox on. It won't automatically download. So let's go ahead and go in and see what changes. Now, they did do some bug fixes on certain things. Um, one of the main things I was happy about this uh, update is they have opened up a cheater's server. So if anybody's been caught cheating or is um, looked at for cheating, things like that, they will only be able to go into servers that are full of other cheaters. So it was basically cheater versus cheater made the best mod win. So let's go into multiplayer first and just see what's going on. Um, start install, that's something different. So what is this? Okay, that's really weird. Hmm. So we get a data pack. Because I have multiplayer. Yeah, you own this product. That is really weird. So that popped up. All right, so let's 18 gigs. Okay. So let's go ahead and back out. That's being downloaded. That's really weird that is asking me to do that but okay please install co-op okay please install campaign hmm so it looks like what happened is uh, i did a video on this before if you're ever downloading a game and it pauses or uh just stops downloading and it won't download anymore and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and it just never downloads uh, never pause or back out of that download because what's going to happen is it's going to erase your whole game and I made a video that just recently that will talk you through it what what to do if it ever does that but don't ever stop a download or pause a download because it will erase your game but let's see so this was for Warzone. So it's gone through and it's done Warzone. So let's see what all it says. Um, those are the, let me see, patch notes, Warzone patch notes. Um, see if there's anything. Yeah, just adjusted the speed and sizing of the circle. That's one thing they did in Warzone. Now, I got a feeling that's going to go both ways. Not only uh, some of the circles are going to be fast, but some of them are going to be slow. Some of the circles are going to be larger than others. Some are going to be smaller than they were. So that I think that's just a quicker way of them saying that, that some of the circles are going to be smaller, some bigger, some faster, some slower. So the cargo truck is back in the BR solos with reduced turning speed, acceleration, and top speed. Yeah, because that, that thing is just uh, really OP. It can take an RPG... It can take some C4. 
if it's a brand new truck and it can keep rolling. It can it can take several hits from some things. Move the scoreboard to a visible to be visible in the policy menu. That's good. Fix an issue where the after action report was not displaying for the total team earnings. Yes. Fix a bug where players are unable to equip armor plates while dead silence is active. I never had that happen. New item, armor satchel. Finding one of these allows you to carry up to eight armor plates instead of five. These drop on death and can be looted by other players. These do not contain any armor plates by default. Only increase the player carry amount. Guaranteed re reward upon completing scavenger contracts. Huh. Replaces gas mask as a guaranteed item. Gas mask will remain rare in loot and purchasable at the uh, buy station. Hmm. The armor satchel. Okay, now I did not know about that. Let's see. Is there anything else to look at on here? Okay. Let's see. Um, I just had to, uh, audio to play uh, for precision airstrike, so if I was to play more precisely. Okay, that's good. Fix bugs where players using KBM and game battles could... Make custom weapon blueprints that could also be used in multiplayer wars, and this has been fixed. That's one thing I'm very excited about. Um, it might be on this list, just haven't gotten to it. Is you will be able to add different parts from blueprints. So if you have like a um, uh, an American flag style stock, you can add that to a gun that's all white from another blueprint, and add a scope that's camouflage from another blueprint. Things like that. Um, and, and a lot of a lot of those blueprints not only is it just not just colors but they have their own unique look to them as well um, currently white text will appear uh, when someone is speaking regardless of team okay now when someone's on the enemy team their text will appear red okay fix the bug that would prevent players from being able to melee an enemy while on top of an ATV <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool. Uh, I kind of wish they would have left that in. Various out of bounds and exploit fixes. I wonder what that's about. I wonder if they adjusted the time for out of bounds. After the last update, Talon's character model appeared uh, stretched with graphical corruption issues while on a squad walk. Yeah, uh, one of my friends was him and was walking around and his head was huge, looked like a walking bush. It was really weird. Uh, fix some season three emblems appearing with incorrect text. Fix an issue with Kruger's eyes <laughs> while completing the finishing move. I like to have seen that. Um, also, uh, there's supposed to be a fire. We're going to get into that too. There's a lot of things that got added into this. Fix the bugs where some watches were appearing in the wrong direction when just AI. Fix the bug where players could lose the option to pick their favorite faction and the operator menu. I heard about that. Fix the bug where white lighting could be seen while moving or firing a weapon near specific locations yes i've seen that i've also seen a black um uh just this growing like black hole taken over the screen it was very rare but i've seen it happen added a gamepad only dead zone option that allows players to adjust the inner range and in which stick input will not be registered hmm i'll have to take a look at that fix an issue that prevented party members from editing their cdl loadouts when the CEO quick player filter was active. Fix a bug where completing the completions uh, challenges for SKS or unlocking the associated uh, cameras for the Renetti. Now here's the thing with the SKS, uh, and, and maybe it's listed somewhere in here. I've been doing the SKS and it'll say you've unlocked this scope, but the little green dot doesn't light up over edit loadouts. like. And then you go into the SKS and nothing is highlighted like, hey, you've unlocked this. This is new. Go check this out. Nothing like that. You have to actually go through and scroll. I guess a little green light can be annoying at sometimes. Um, always appearing over edit loadouts or weapons. But uh, that was one of the bugs I saw. The SKS, it wasn't notifying you what you actually unlocked. Fix the bug where unlocking camos for SKS was inconsistent with other camo challenges for marksman rifles. Fix the bug where the hardwired skin for Alex would appear in thermals while cold blooded is equipped. That would suck if you're your Alex and that happened. Getting sniped. Special ops. Do we wanna know about this? Do people play special ops? Um I'll leave it up for a few seconds if you want to check it out. Um if you're if you're into special ops, I would say get on and check this out. I'm not really into that too much. So let's go ahead and back out. 
All right, so we got, oh, they, oh, they got a uh, kind of a goldish yellow. I like that. So they got the quads, the trios, the solos. So no, we did not get duos. We did not get duos. Let's go to the practice modes. Uh, practice modes. So if you remember, solos was a little different. Uh, it would be under, uh, what was it? It wasn't... Um, Play modes. I think there was an option under here uh, up until today. It just say play modes, and you would click on it, and solos would be under that. So, why would you have a don't feel under solos? It's, it's almost like they uh, created the squad feel options here, and it was just easier to throw it here. That's really weird. I wonder what would happen if you hit don't fill when you clicked on that. That's really weird. Um, weapons, operators, uh, nothing's, nothing should have uh, been added new for here. Challenges. These are a little different, the way they look. But it looks like it's about the same. So let's see. A pyromaniac. This is what I was talking about. Kruger's Pyromaniac Pack is perfect for tuning up the heat, bringing your enemies with all new attachments and equipment. This is what they've been advertising about. So let's see. So you got this new Kruger skin. That looks pretty good. What gun is that? That looks pretty good. He's all burned up too. Oh, it's a shotgun. Look at that. Dragon's breath rounds. Okay, so yeah, that'll set you on fire. Burn them to the ground with a Kodoro shotgun and make sure they're good and crispy with the all new Dragon's breath rounds. Okay, so <clears throat> you really need to go to the store and check out anything in red. Usually is something new or only uh, particular to that one bundle just like the dismemberment dismemberment is only for mace for the mace bundle and if you go and click on mace in the description it'll light up in red down there it'll say on the bottom left it'll say dismemberment it has dismemberment on his two guns his shotgun and his lmg and in I made a video on that as well. You can um, change the gun around parts on the gun, and it'll still do dismemberment. You don't have to leave the same parts on it. But the ammunition is what is crucial. So on here, you will be able to go in and change everything on this gun if you like. But you have to keep the Dragon's Breath rounds on there, obviously, to do the damage that the dragon's breath rounds cause. So let's see about this. Um, always come in high. Equip it as a weapon. Okay, equip it as a weapon or light it on fire and throw it at the enemy with the included flaming throwing knife equipment. This equipment has no functional difference from the standard throwing knife and is a visual update only. Okay. So it's just visual. It's not going to cause more damage than a regular throwing knife, anything like that. But apparently, you can either throw this knife regularly, or you can light it on fire and throw it. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Nice little move. I like that. Pop his eardrum, turn him around, break his neck. Yeah. I like that. Silent now. Okay. Silent now. All right. Isn't it um kind of neat that they kind of threw out a, uh, a nightmare on Elm Street type thing? Because it's not this guy's name is Kruger, <laughs> right? And he's burned and uh, things like that. It is, it's yeah, it's kind of funny. Freddy Krueger. Okay. Um, let's see what else they added. A lot of the, a lot of these are. I haven't seen the Reaper. 
I don't think. Maybe a half. Nothing for free. They don't have anything for free. The Pyromaniac. Okay. And then we have... Let me see. I believe a new weapon? So the LMG. Let's see how we get it. The Bruin MK9. The air-cooled open bolt 556 light machine gun features a competitive rate of fire and excellent stability that will dominate the mid to long range battlefield. Get three kills when the enemy is near smoke using the LMG in 15 different matches. So the accuracy is way up. The fire rate is uh, pretty high too. Uh, usually to balance these guns, if the accuracy is way up, it's one or the other. Either damage is way down or the fire rate is way down. But, um, and this is compared to the SKS. The accuracy is higher than the SKS. Range is higher than the SKS. I understand the fire rate. Of course, the mobility is down. Of course, the control and damage is down. This gun almost sounds OP. It almost sounds OP. Um... But, and this is a delicate, uh, I guess, conversation. Personally, I don't think anything on the game should be nerfed, honestly. There's nothing that has, like, continuously killed me over and over and over to where I had to complain about it. Um, I've been killed by the same weapon numerous times, but I will figure out a way to counter it, a way to get around it, things like that. Um, I actually think there's some guns on here that need to be buffed. Needs to be stronger. But nerfed, no. So I would really like to test this out. So I gotta get three cure kills when the enemy is near smoke. So I need to carry smoke grenades and an LMG. And I need to do this in 15 different matches. So everybody's gonna be running um I might run my Blungener. So let's go ahead and get the smoke grenade. Um, there it is. And I will run that uh, later on. And I want I might do a video on, the, on that gun. I really want to test that out. So it looks like we have no new modes in Warzone. The new modes that are supposed to be coming is there's they're bringing duos. They are going to do that. Um... And then they're going to do Realism Warzone. And then they're going to do Hardcore Warzone. Now my guess is those won't be around forever. Because that's really going to split up people in a lot of different servers. And I know they want people to get into a game very quickly. So I don't think those will stick around very long. I would think each game mode would come one a week. But... Um, we didn't get one this this one this time around, but apparently we we have to install these, which is really weird. That is really weird that you have to do these. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna be playing Warzone. I want to go in and click download on each one of these, see see what happens. But I want to play some Warzone and. Um, get this gun unlocked and make a video on that but guys thanks for watching if you like this video hit please hit like if you think it's helpful please share it if you want to see more like it please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one